Hi guys, it is Saturday morning, um, I think it's the 17th of September today, so I thought I'd do an update. Uh, how are you all? I've, I've had a very good stitchy couple of weeks. Um, we'll crack right on. There were some stitch alongs this month and I think the first one, I think I showed you this Catch the Hogwarts Express, we did that on the first. Uh, and then the, the monthly, the month long, <coughs> excuse me, the month long stitch along and stitch mania this month is World of Pure Imagination. So I decided to alternate between um, Giant Harry Potter and The Big Red Ship of Life. So that's the Giant Harry Potter. You've all seen that. I'm kind of slowing down on this one because I'm close to a finish. Not close, close, but I'm not going to take it out of the key snack because it takes me ages to roll the fabric. But that's got quite a bit done. So I think I was due to do Cho Chang last video. Um, did some bits and pieces. I did Confundo for the Now I Know My ABC um, in cross stitch finish line. Oh yeah, started the Weasleys, so I've done Molly, Arthur and uh, Charlie, I think. Might be Bill. So, but there's only a row of, I've got to finish the Weasleys, bring the pattern down and there's another spell. And then it's a line of Death Eaters and then the bottom swirly pattern. And it's done. Um, I did, I will take it off and show you. I did um, Bertie Bot's Every Flavour Beans thing. I'll roll that up and show you. I did um, Bertie Bot's, that's, that's right, I did Obscuro. That might have been for the letter C. I did Bertie Butts Beans. It is so wrong. It's, <coughs> excuse me, it's nothing like the chart. So I'm calling it a conversion because I don't know, I don't even know what happened. It just, it's nothing like it, but I can tell what it is. So, so that's that. And then I, Worked. I did that for the first week, I think. Uh, yeah, I did that for the first week. Uh, did I do it? Oh, yes, I did, yeah. And then Monday just gone, I started um, back on Big Red Ship. So I've been stitching sort of a few hours each evening on Big Red Ship. And I'm on I'm on page two now. So that's that. I've just got to the end of page two on the banner at the top. I'm really loving how this is coming together. And even though the fabric's quite stiff, I'm I'm still really pleased with it. It's the 18 count rustico. But yeah, loving how that's coming together. So on page two of that one, I think I can I'm gonna carry on with that one until Sunday, Monday, and then go back to Giant Harry Potter. Because the now I know my ABC on the 26th of September is the letter D. So I'll go over to the other side and do the other spell for that um, and then in cross stitch finish line on the 5th of September there was a magazine or book stitch along Excuse me. and I just did a little bit more on heart and home that roof was so boring <laughs> but I'm loving how that's coming together as well there's no real rush for that. It's it's a gift for my mum and it's either Christmas or birthday, which is December or January, so 
there's a couple more stitches that I think I'm doing it for the orange crush on the 24th in Stitch Mania and then my heaven and earth design that I've had out this month is Ex Machina and I used it for the weekend rush last weekend but we went away well it was bus fest which is the the biggest Volkswagen show so hubby went down Friday morning to Sunday night I just went down Saturday afternoon and stopped the night so I didn't I think I did 1400 stitches on the Friday night and a bit on the Saturday morning and a little bit when I got back on the Sunday but didn't get much done well didn't get much done for the big rush but I got so drunk I don't normally drink loads but I took my gin and at the end of the night I looked at my gin and I'd accidentally drunk half a bottle I did and and I was I was ill um, I, I was ill I just did manage to get it on the perimeter of our camp I think I would have got told off if I'd have been sick in camp but oh I was very ill and one minute I was fine we had the Bluetooth speaker going and we were listening to music around the campfire next minute I was gone and I just sat in front of the fire with my head in my hands with my bobble hat on just I couldn't see I couldn't hear so that was my Saturday night and Sunday I woke up and I my head was pounding but um, hubby and his friend cooked sausage and bacon on the fire I had a couple of ibuprofen and then I was absolutely fine for the rest of the day so lesson learned there don't be greedy on the gin trouble is I didn't have my little shot glass so I was just sort of doing my own measurements but it was a fab weekend and it was it's really nice going camping in the van so I got back on the Sunday and I did a little bit more and I've had this out all month this is out for the whole of September I'll just turn it around so <clears throat> I've loosened it slightly on the scroll so it's a bit so I had that page to finish when I last showed you and I finished that page that's page 12 and then I went back over to page 13 and you can just see let's get the, you can just see her arm now which is there So I've done this page cross country because there's hardly any confetti in it where well, you can see the only bits of confetti left are, I think there's about six colours left but there's a there's masses area of black and 3371 so I thought oh I'll just do cross country pick a colour and do the whole colour on that page but I love how the skin tones are but I will, I'll finish this page today because I, I normally stitch all day on a Saturday and then I'll go over to this page and see how much I can get done before the end of the month because what is it now, 17th? <clears throat> I might get another page finish. But you know what I'm really tempted to do? I'm tempted to, to work in, go, I'm going back to row by row on this one because it's quite confetti heavy this page. I'm tempted to do like the first 10 by 10 block of rows all the way along and then just keep going along all the rows I don't know I fancy having a go at that it, it'll seem like it I'm not making much progress for ages but then when I get to the end I'm gonna have like five pages finished but I'm not sure I might I don't know I might try it on a smaller one first and see but I do I do fancy do, doing that and just, I don't know. Um, so those are the things I've worked on. Um, the rest of the month is going to be, I've got a few more evenings on Big Red Ship, um, I think till Monday. Well, I might do it till I finish page two and then get giant Harry Potter back out. Um, and like I say, the heart and home will be on the 24th for Orange Crush. I'm going to have a new start this month because in cross-stitch finish line, 
on the I think it's the 23rd of September I'm not sure the finish date is I think it's December something it's the autumn equinox um, and it's a dinky dyes autumn stitch long thing but I don't have any dinky dyes but it does say on there that you can use any autumnal piece so I kitted up let's move that over there Uh, I kitted up this it's from cross stitch gold issue 131 the one with the squirrel on the front and I've kitted up that and this is going to be my first ever seasonal piece I've never stitched a seasonal piece before so I've made my working copy. I have so I did an order from I did an order order for all the threads from Lakeside Needlecraft and then I ordered some beads because this takes beads but I'm doing it on an off cut from Big Red Ship is the 18 count rust co. I thought the autumn colours would look quite nice on that. And I've sort of chucked a load of floss on top of it and none of the colours get lost so I'm quite pleased with that and it, and it calls for uh, Lil Hill CB's 02038 they're quite nice I don't know why I should that then uh, 02031 they're really bright, they're lovely and 02011 so I haven't really studied the chart yet and see and seen where the beads go, but I'm really looking forward to starting that. And that that's going to be used for a couple of other stitch alongs that are um, popping up as well. So back in there. So that's going to be on the 23rd of September in cross stitch finish line. So I'm looking forward to starting that. I signed up for Year of Starts next year. I'm not going to do them every day, but I'm going to. There's a, a thing in Stitch Mania for starting a new project on the 17th of every month. So I've been having so much fun going through what I have and seeing what fabric I've got to match and thread. So I've got an order to do which I'm going to do today of just some missing threads from five projects. I've got most of them. Uh, I was going to show you. So I've been I've been kitting up for the year of starts and there's a couple of tour de designer stitch alongs but I'm going to do a video, a year of starts video and show you all my plans. Um, So this is why I'm not, because the Year of Witch Challenge in Melanie's Soulful uh, so, uh, Soulful Sisters Stitcher group, is that right? She's doing a brilliant Year of Witch Challenge and it's you get signed up with a postcard pal as well and encourage each other, but the only reason I'm not doing that is because I'm doing the Year of Stars instead next year. Um, I am starting to, I really want to do it and I am starting to get a little bit but then I think well they'll just be stitched when they're stitched I've only picked projects that I absolutely love but like I say I'll do I'll do a separate video and, and show you all my plans I was lucky enough to win Adele's giveaway I won this chart Mini Magic Mirror and Stokes I love it. I've never done a mini. She put in some goodies as well. So with that with that chart it comes well, she put the magic guide in but I'm not it's a bit tight with the border so I'm not going to use that. Um, I'm going to use that for something else. So I've got some 18 cat Ada for that. I did have some haul, but I can't really show you because I've sort of um, 
allotted it to the different starts I've been kitting up. So when I do my Euro starts video, I'll, I'll show you. Yeah, I'm not doing it yet because I just need to, I've got almost, I know all what I'm starting next year, but I just need to tie it in. So like uh, the one I start in January, I'm gonna try and tie in with whatever stitch alongs are gonna be going on in February, if you get what I mean, so that I don't wanna start something in January and then I could use that for a stitch along in August or something and it'd be finished. <laughs> finished, yeah. Comes with all the threads for Mini Magic Mirror. Um, so I've got bobbins, I'm gonna bobbinate them. She put in some other little goodies, some little variegated thread in there, a little notebook, a Disney with a pencil and rubber. She's so sweet. She put a really lovely little note in as well. Um, oh, these are fab. I put them back in to show you. Erasable highlighters absolutely brilliant she said that oh they're from Tesco's never seen those before brilliant um, 75 size 24 gold needles love those I'm a convert now and they're all in these little lovely little bags what a cute needle minder So sweet, thanks so much Ada, I love it all, I was so excited, so excited. So that is that. Oh, I drew my giveaway by the way. I had to do it on Thursday, I had to do it a day early because I wasn't going to be around Friday. Um, and I tried to video it and it just, but anyway, Michelle, lovely Michelle Gunn was the one that that, so. I've just got to make her something, I was waiting to see who won because I'm going to try and make something specific, specific. So those are my plans. No, they're not my plans. That's what I've done this month. I've told you my plans, haven't I? I'm going to do another video update beginning of October because the election challenge starts in Stitch Mania in October. So I've got all my plans ready for that. All my whips are assigned. Um, I'm bringing out some UFOs. I'm going to try and get those done. So I won't go into that now because I'll do that in my next update. Um, <clears throat> I think that's it. I've had quite a few people um, requesting to see my tattoos. So, oh, before that. Oh, sorry, I haven't written any notes today. Hubby very kindly made me two more scroll frames. One of these is for Midget, Mid, Midget, Mini Magic Mirror that I won on Adele's giveaway. The other one is Faces of Fairy 201, which I'm starting in November for a stitch along. So he made me two more, they're not huge, but so he uses the double, um, I can't remember the specific name, but they're double, they've got a screw on both ends. So he drills into the rod, it screws into there and then screws into there and then it's got a wing there. And I've, we've stapled some fabric. And what I normally do is just baste it on, baste the fabric on, and then just put a little bit of masking tape over the top just to secure it a bit tighter. So there Fab, he made me that one and he made me one, this one's slightly smaller. This is for the Mini Magic Mirror one. As you can see, I I have a stack load of this matte material that I keep eating. So those are those. Now, loads of people have, not loads, well, quite a few over the last few months have requested to see my tattoos in more detail. So I will do that now. So if you're not interested, I will see you in a couple of weeks. Um, I'm going to try, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to show you my legs. I don't know if I can, uh, might have to do a little bit of um, jiggery pokery. So I won't show you them in order that I've had them because I um, I can't remember. But this this one up here was, was the first one. 
and it's lilies and a butterfly. It just creeps around there a little bit. This is this is really nice. It's it's like um, pastely shades, so it's quite light. So I'm having a bit of trouble finding something to go here because I have my buxom Victorian. I call her my Victorian Lady of the Night. God, it's really hard to get. She's holding a peacock feather fan. I call her my Lady of the Night. She has an impressive bust. And then he is my, I call him my Victorian gent. I love him. We did, we placed them so that she's sort of looking up at him. So we're struggling to find something to go in there that will sort of tie the two together. I think it's going to be some floral thing. Um, and then my butterfly on my chest. I love this. I love it so much. That's been the most painful one so far. I won't have any more on, my, on the front of my body after that one now. That was too painful. And then this one is my, oh, that's a little flower at the top. That was, um, they had an apprentice working at the shop and I happened to be working in there one day. And he said, oh, can I do that? So I quite like that. And then this is my gypsy, my gypsy lady. She's so beautiful. I love her. And then my babushka in there. I think that's being going over next month because it's it's scarred quite a bit because it, it was really sore in there and it didn't heal very quickly. So he's going to sort of go over that one next month. Then I have a butterfly, um, sort of little gap fillers, Harry Potter, there's a couple of Harry Potter things sneaked in. Uh, mandala type flower with another butterfly and then my needle and thread on the back and then down here we have a love letter that says always that's really nice oh some little Harry Potter glasses um, Deathly Hallows and my beautiful peacock. I love her. Uh, I have, I have, I'm going to try and roll my trousers up. I'm going to try and do. I've got my lounge pants on for you, Donna. Just for you. It's a lazy day today. Jared and I are lounge pants and. He's playing video games. I should be stitching. I'm going to try and finish that page on Ex Machina today. I don't think I'm going to get my trouser up enough. I will try. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to move the phone and just sort of try and show you my thigh. So that's my. lady on my thigh and then my newest one I'm not going to get a good enough shot of that is my pinup queen so those are my tattoos I'm always looking for new ones I sort of try and find pictures and then um, Hubby, try, uh, hubby changes them and sort of makes them his own and you know we always come up with something or other so I think my next one is to have that one relined and then try and find something to go in there I might move on to my other leg I don't know I've got loads of photos saved of things I possibly want to do so I think that is all I have to say today I feel like I've forgotten something. No. So, Michelle, I will get your package off to you Monday. 
I'm going to make your little thing tomorrow and I think that is it yeah oh a stitch too far wanted a flip through of the Jane Netley Mayhew book shall I just do that quickly at the end I forgot about that I'll just do a quick flip through for you because I know lots of you have seen it so it's that book So I think that the gorilla that I'm going to do in here, they're nice. I'm, going, I'm starting in possibly January, not sure yet. Um, I don't normally stitch animals, I'm not, I'm not really an animal lover. But these, I do love these charts. That's the thinker, he's cute. Wildebeest. Oops. Not so keen on that one. They're not very big, these charts, either. Oh, that's nice. The Impala. That's really nice, that one. Uh, cheetahs. They're very good. She's, you know, there's a little write-up for each one as well. Flamingos as well. That's a weird one because when you look at it really close, it just looks like a load of pink and white blobs. That that would that would look quite nice framed. Water buffalo. A Maasai. This book still smells a little bit frosty. It's all in perfect condition, but rhinoceros. But I only paid one pound fifty for it, so I'm not too bothered. Fish eagle. Leopard. That's nice. There's quite a few people stitching out of this. Paradise Flycatcher, that's nice actually. an awful lot of thread colours for all these though. Oh that's cute. Meerkats. I think that, oh no, no uh, charging elephant. That's really small that one. And there's some little charts, so the Austrian. It's a really lovely book. A few others have bought it as well. Well, there's quite a few people I've seen stitching on it. I think we're going to do a little stitch along next year whenever we start. Me and Kristen from Stitchy Mum on Instagram and All Tangled Threads. So that is that. So I'm going to love you and leave you now. I'm going to go and make myself a lovely coffee, upload this video. Well, I'm going to watch it back first because I'm not sure if the tattoo bit looked a bit. 
I'll see what it looks like. Um, I can't edit. I did look into that a little bit this morning, but it, I can't. I can't get it from my phone to my computer without just uploading it. But we'll see. I might look into it. Anyway, have a fab rest of September. Um, thank you everyone that is still commenting and watching. There were 126 entries into my giveaway. So thank you all for taking the time and subscribing and just being there. You're all a fab bunch. So I will see you in a couple of weeks. Goodbye.